Okay, so now finding the right bra, it isn't always easy. So we asked Janae Luciani, the author of The Bra Book, how to buy the perfect support and avoid some of those common problems. Janae Luciani, welcome. Thank you for being with us this morning. Thanks for having me. Okay, so now is it pretty safe to say that a lot of women are not wearing the right bra? Yes. I mean, statistically, we say like 95% of women. Whoa, that's a big statistic. And in my experience, you know, when I've done like focus groups or worked with groups of women, pretty much like eight or nine out of ten aren't wearing the right size. Now, you're going to show us how to take care of some of the common problems, or as you would like to call them, problems. problems. <laughs> yes. And we're yes. going to start with the first first one, which is straps digging in. So if you are a little bit bustier, this yes. is a big problem. Yes, this is a big problem. You know, and straps can be quite painful. So as you can see here with Annie, the straps are really kind of digging into her. They can leave marks. They can cause like back problems. Mm -hmm. You know, not a really fun thing to have. Right. And so now let's look at what it looks like when the problem is solved. Yeah. Hey now. So I wanted to fix that um, for her. She is a bit fuller busted, you know, and your breasts can get quite heavy. So you want to have some support with your straps. It's not all about the support just from the band or the cups. You want to have the support from the straps as well. Um, so I chose a bra for her um, from Olga that has these sort of wider straps. Right. So wider, and they, they even have a little bit of padding, which is really nice. What? Look at the difference there. That's mm -hmm. unbelievable. And that's just a little bit of support. Now, is there an underwire in this one? Would yes. You and I recommend underwire for, like, almost every woman. Okay. You need that extra little bit of support. Right. Um, anybody above, like, an A cup really needs an underwire. Wire. Okay, because really you hear helpful. conflicting things sometimes, yes. so we're going to go with that. Wow, yes. she looks fantastic. Absolutely. Yes. All right, well, next up we have the <laughs> side bulge, the dreaded yes. side bulge. So, dun, dun, dun. I know, so let's take a look at what this looks like. Well, Jennifer Lawrence, like, made a big splash. You know, she was, I think, at the Golden Globes on the red carpet, and she told reporters that she had an armpit vagina. Right, <laughs> yes. Right? Yes. So that's what I like to call sleevage, which is that little <laughs> overhang on the side. Right. And a lot of women have this. It doesn't matter what shape or size you are. It's just a big problem, and it sometimes happens from just the bra itself. In general, you want to look for a bra that has a wider back band or wider wings, which is the side of the bra here. Okay. Um, and this one, is a new bra from Warner's. It's called No Side Effects. So they specifically are alleviating this problem. Wow. Okay. So, so let's take a look exactly. at it. Exactly. Whoa. That so is a lot smoother all around. How do you know when you're wearing the wrong bra? Is there, are there any telltale signs that we should be looking out for? Absolutely. Um, there's a lot of signs. Obviously, if there's any bulging coming from anywhere. So the back bulging, the side bulging. But Janae, I want people to take a look at this yes. side here. So if you're yes. going out shopping and if this is a problem that plagues you, look, yes. look for this type of a side on the bra and then what again what was this bra this is the no side effects from Warner's okay it's like $38 I always love telling people you don't have to spend a lot of money on a bra mm -hmm. you can get a really great bra for under 40 bucks that's great to know you because don't they're have so to spend expensive $100. exactly yeah. so you can find these affordable options that will fix all your problems okay great <laughs> now let's look at the quadra boob mm -hmm. let's take a look so as I mentioned earlier um, a lot of women especially fuller busted women um, either they choose a cup that's too small or they choose the wrong bra overall and they're getting that breast tissue billowing out the, the top which is causing like a four boob effect like yes. a quadra boob. <laughs> we want to look like we have two boobs here people exactly. right? Not now, four. Yeah, now less is more in this case. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so I gave her a nice full coverage cup. Look at that. Okay. And you know what? She looks more comfortable. I have to be honest. I mean look at her. They, yes. and, and I'm sorry but your breasts smooth look more all comfortable over. Too. Yes. Smooth all over. Yes. Um, and and really just giving her the support and the coverage that she needs. What would you suggest if somebody is in between a size? Do you go up or down or do you get measured? It really depends on the brand. Okay. Unfortunately, that's what's so tricky about bra sizing. Every brand runs so differently that you have to take your measurement, and I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute. Okay. Take your measurement as a guideline and then go into the store and just try things on. Okay, well then let's go ahead and do it. Let's I'm going to measure you. I, I have no problem. Right? Yeah, I'm actually, I would love to see where I am now. I've gone through many many transitions yes. by this point so and you mentioned especially with pregnancy yes. after you change so much that you really have to keep kind of fitting oh yourself. absolutely yeah, yeah. We'll okay so here we go fitted. all right okay so you're so going underneath is, yes so this is how we're going to determine the band size so mm -hmm. we're going to take a tape measure like this mm -hmm. not the kind in your husband's toolbox so you're going to wrap it around directly beneath your breast okay 
And okay, so I'm getting a 30, so I'm just gonna round up okay. um, to a 32. Okay. You wanna add a couple inches, give yourself some give. It's fine to go right over clothes like this. Okay, whoa, and baby. And then, <laughs> yes, so I'm getting on the fullest part of your bust here, I'm getting a 36. Okay, okay, okay so I have a 36. I'm measuring you at a 32 double D. 32 double yes, D. Yes, correct, because you want to go an inch for every cup size. Really? So if you were one inch difference between the two measurements, you'd be an A cup, two inches a B cup. So the oh, four Oh, I haven't been an A cup since I was 11. <laughs> I'm telling you, that, that, that those days are gone. So. But again, you could go, you know, if you move down in the band size, if you went to that 32 measurement, then you could go up in the cup. So it's like a really tricky thing. Well, thank you so much, You're Janae welcome. Luciani, and all of the beautiful models that you brought along. No more problems here. No, they look amazing. Okay, I'm just trying to 32 double D, so when the holidays roll around. <laughs> Carolina, come over here. Okay. So you looked Hold shocked on. when she told you the size. Yes. Why was that so surprising um, to you? Because, you know what, there's never one, and that's the one thing that I learned, is that there's never really one size that you have to go, and everybody makes them differently. So um, I've been given a different measurement at different stores. What but a challenge. It really is challenging, and I'm glad that, um, that Janae could clear up some of those problems for us. Problems. Got it. Like what yep. you did there.